Class, so today you have a new classmate. He's a Balikbayan from Australia and his name is Simon Hayek. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Hayek. I came from Australia but don't worry, I can speak Tagalog fluently and I can understand well. Um, Gold, I think I really admire you and I hope you don't mind me liking you. <coughs> ano? Seryoso ka ba? Oo, like the first day I laid my eyes on you. Oh, sorry. I just can't imagine somebody would like me. And besides, you know I can't respond to that, diba? Like we're too young for this. And besides, my best friend Rina. What about Rina? Gold, I hope you don't mind me making efforts for you as the day goes by, huh? OMG. But please don't make it too obvious, Karina. Like, we promise to stay single kasi until we reach our dreams. And you probably already know what she feels for you. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, mga kwento ni Ate Jane, story mo, ikwento ko. Huwag kalimutang pindutin ang notification bell at subscribe button. Mawalhiya kayo sa dinami-dami ng pwedeng trumaydor sa akin. Ikaw pa. Ikaw pa na best friend ko. Walang hiya ka. Naglulumpasay sa iyak at bigla na lang nagwala si Gold na makita ang best friend niyang nakapatong sa nakahubad niyang boyfriend. Sigaw ng sigaw si Gold sa sakit na kanyang nararamdaman nang makita ang pagtraydor ng kanyang best friend sa kanya. Hindi niya lubos maisip na mangyayari sa kanyang karaniwang nakikita niya sa mga teleserye. Lahat ng mahawakan ni Gold ay pinagahampas niya sa pader ng kanilang bahay. Hindi siya mapigilan ng kanyang mommy at daddy sa kanyang ginagawa. Hindi kalaunan ay sumigaw na lamang bigla si Gold at lumuhod habang naglulumpasay sa iyak. Anak, gumising ka nga! Pilit na ginigising ni mommy Tyra si Gold habang ito'y natutulog sa kanyang kwarto. Nagising si Gold na umiiyak at hindi makapaniwala sa kanyang panaginip. Gulong-gulo ito dahil alam niya na hindi siya kailanman tatry do rin ng kanyang best friend na si Rina. Anak, bakit mo ba sigaw ng sigaw? I was running from our room and I heard you shouting and crying kaya I checked on you. Akala ako naman kung napano ka na. Kaya nga, mommy, that dream was surreal. Para talagang totoo, mom. And it was unbelievable, mom. Eh, ano pa kasi yung panaginip mo? It was about Rina, mom. What about Rina? She doesn't want her mom to know about her dream since medyo skeptical na rin si mommy Tyra kay Rina. It's nothing, mom. It's like an untoward incident lang. Well, gano naman talaga, anak. There are dreams that are seemingly true. Minsan, nagiging totoo din yung mga dreams, pero... Most of the time, hindi rin naman. But you know, you have the opportunity to pray for the person just in case hindi talaga maganda, okay? So, okay ka na ba? I have to go na. I yes, mom. I'm good na. I thank you for being here, mommy. After her mom left, napaisip din talaga si Gold about the dream she had. For quite some time, hindi naman na sila nagkaroon ng misunderstanding ng kanyang best friend na si Regina. Ay, nako. Panaginip lang yan. Hindi naman ako bibiguin si Gold ni Regina. Uminom na lang ng tubig si Gold at bumangon. This day is a momentous day para kay Gold dahil ngayong araw, may isa sa katuparan ng matagal niya ng inaasam buksan na negosyo, ang coffee shop. Gold has been into baking and food industry since college. Itinawid niya ang mga allowances niya sa pamamagitan ng pagbenta ng iba't ibang pastries Para lang sa ganon ay makabawas-bawas naman siya ng mga gastusin ng kanyang parents. Hindi naman mahirap si Nagold. Safe to say na nasa middle class ang status ng pamumuhay ni Nagold at ang kanyang pamilya. After long years of saving for this dream business, finally, mag open na ang unang branch ng negosyo ni Gold. Nag-ayos na nga si Gold and she wore her usual aesthetic forma na plain shirt paired with high-waist pants and humble sneakers. 
Making sure that everything is set, she called her best friend Rina, who's been with her as a journey niya, to making her dreams into reality. Hello, Besh. Oh, ano na? Okay na ba lahat? Yung part mo and the committee, okay na ba lahat? Tanong ni Gold. Of course naman, best friend. Everything is all set. Ikaw na lang ang kulang. And I'm so excited for you, Bessie. And of course, I'm so happy for you, Bessie. Sagot naman ni Rina. Finally, Bess. All our hard work has paid off. This is it, Bess. Uy, siya nga pala. Thank you for standing with me in this, ha? Nako, wala namang ano man, best friend. Ano ka ba naman? Efforts mo naman lahat to, no? Tsaka, normal lang naman sa mag-best friend na nagtutulungan. Eh, sino pa ba kasi magtutulungan, di ba? Kung di tayo, alam naman ang kalaban mong tutulong sa'yo, hindi ba? Mmm, may point ka naman, bes. O siya, sige. You come over na and we'll start the program as soon as you get here, okay? Alright, bes. Actually, ready na ako. Paalis na rin ako in few minutes. See you there. Pagkarating na pagkarating ni Gold sa store ay nagumpisa na nga ang ribbon cutting sa kanyang grand opening ng Tagpuan Coffee Shop. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request everyone to please stand and let us all witness the ribbon cutting at the grand opening of Tagpuan Cafe. Aesthetically brewing today. Round of applause everyone. So ayan, finally Tagpuan Cafe is now officially brewing today. This cafe is a result of Miss Gold's tireless effort of reaching her dreams. Once again, Miss Gold Celestina, congratulations for this milestone. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone who came over and celebrate with me in this. I can't believe I am in this today. I can't believe that I will be able to finally enjoy the fruit of my labor. Salamat sa support. Especially sa best friend ko, Rina, for believing and pushing me to start this new chapter of my life. So everyone, let's enjoy a cup of coffee or tea. Everyone was rejoicing sa pagbubukas ng cafe ni Gold. Her family was there and all other significant people who made the business possible. Of course, Rina was there. Bis! Nakangisi tuwang tuwa pa para sa kaibigan. Ito na yun, oh. Masaya ka ba sa naging program? Tanong ni Rina. Oh my gosh, oo naman, Bessie. Yung effort mo, grabe ya. Hindi, hindi ko mababayaran lahat ng to. Alam mo ba yun? Sobrang thank you talaga, best friend. Ano ka ba? Tayo pa ba? Hmm, oo nga eh. I'm really so blessed to have you. Hey, alam mo ba, Bessie? Buti ka pa, no? Your stars have aligned already. Samantalang ako... Hay, eto, dakilang empleyado pa rin. Uy, ano ka ba? Ikaw din naman eh. For sure, parating na rin yung para sa'yo, bes. Baka na-delay lang, pero parating na yon. Promise. Uy, sana naman magdilang ang ka, girl. Bes, tiis-tiis lang muna. Sabi pa ni Gold kay Rina. May napansin naman si Gold sa labas ng kanyang coffee shop na pamilyar na tao. A tall and a good-looking guy na nakatalikod. Familiar talaga kaya trinay ni Gold na lumabas and to check on the man. Riz, sandali ah. Lalabas lang muna ako. Para kasing kilala ko yung lalaki sa may labas ng shop eh. And just when Gold stepped outside, siya namang pag-akyat ng lalaki sa kotse yung nakaparada lang din sa tapat nito. Hindi na tuloy nakita ni Gold ang lalaki but Gold was certain na si Simon yung lalaki. Si Simon yun ah. Hindi ako pwede magkamali. Hmm. Nakauwi na kaya siya dito sa Pilipinas? Tahimik yung kinakausap ang kanyang sarili. Humabal naman si Rina sa labas ng shop to also check the person kung sino yun. Sino ba yung Beshi? Feeling ko si Simon yun eh. Simon? Like the Simon, the high school hottie? Yeah. Yeah. One's best friend, Simon. Oh, never heard from him since he left, ah. Are you even sure it was him? At wala naman siguro siyang balita na nag-open ka ng business mo dito sa Paranaque, di ba? Well, unless hindi mo sinabi sa akin na you openly communicate with him. 
Naku, wala ah. Gold actually tried communicating kay Simon once. But Simon never responded to her as Simon left the country with an off issue about Gold and Rina. During grade school, class. So today you have a new classmate. He's a balikbayan from Australia. His name is Simon Hayek. A typical foreign student and head turner due to his really attractive looks and height. Well, not to mention the pearl like complexion. Vividly green eyes. Lahat na ata ng babae sa classroom na yun ay talagang kinikilig pag nakikita siya. Everybody wants to be his friend. But there is someone this Aussie guy looks after. First day pa lang sa skwela, Gold caught Simon's attention already. Simple as she was, at hindi napapansin talagang nahook na agad si Simon sa gandang angkin ni Gold. Bata pa lamang si Simon ay gustong gusto niya na ang karakter at ang gandang taglay ni Gold. Gold has been very true sa kanya. Kahit may kaya sa buhay, ay madiskarte pa rin si Gold. One thing, na sobrang inadmire ni Simon kay Gold. She is a very independent woman kahit pa nung mga bata pa sila. Hi, I'm Simon Hayek. I came from Australia but you don't worry, I can speak Tagalog fluently and understand it as well. Kaya hindi nyo rin ako mabibenta. Sabay tawa. I'm pleased to meet you all. Sakto may bakanting upuan naman sa tabi ni Gold. At doon na rin pumirmi si Simon. Rina, Gold's best friend, had secretly admired Simon already. Bata pa man din ay masyado nang maharot itong si Rina. Medyo obvious naman yun dahil lagi naman siyang nag-i-initiate na makipag-usap kay Simon. But Simon was so into Gold kaya hindi na rin niya masyado pang pinagtutuunan ng pansin si Rina. Simon made friends with Gold. And along with that friendship is his friendship with Rina na rin dahil kahit saan man magpunta si Gold, ay si Rita din naman ang kasama nito. Halos magkapatid na rin kasi ang turingan ni Narina at Gold hanggang sa naging magkaibigan na nga silang tatlo. Simon was a little showy sa kanyang pagkagusto kay Gold. But Gold was a little off toward Simon kasi alam na alam ni Gold na crush na crush ni Rina si Simon. Rina would even fantasize about Simon. They were together almost every day hanggang umabot sila ng third year high school. There were even times that even outside the school premises ay nakikita pa rin silang tatlo to bond and sometimes to do some projects together. Hi Gold, how are you? Oh, Simon, ang aga mo naman. Yeah, eh kasi ano eh, I wanted to copy sa'yo. Copy ng alin? Ng assignment sa science? Oh yeah, that. Nga pala no. Buti pinaalala mo sa akin, I was so busy last night. I actually baked some goodies eh. Goodies? Para saan yan? Here, try one. Pero bayaran mo ha. When Gold handed over the cookie kay Simon, Simon accidentally held her hand at sandaling natigilan ng dalawa. They both hide their feelings from each other. Moments like this are kind of awkward sa dalawa. Oh, well, I want to sell some stuff that I bake. Mm, what for? For sure, masarap yan kasi I've tried one of those cookies before eh. Talagang gooey and masarap. Oh, really? You did? Because Gold was a little distant kay Simon, hindi niya na rin napansin ang mga activities nila together. But to Simon, every minute he was with Gold, he counts it all and cherished it. So, I can be of help sa mom and dad ko. You know, I can help them by trimming down my expenses. Diba? Alam mo, exceptional ka rin talaga, no? Even if you're given almost everything in life, you still manage to think about helping your parents. Galing mo naman. Well, kasi alam mo, I really love baking and making business. Gusto ko rin naman kasi talaga maging businesswoman in the future. And what better way for me to do is to start young, di ba? Hmm, oo nga naman. Hmm, di mo pa ba nakikita si Rina? Hindi pa eh. Galing na ako actually sa room but she's not there pa naman. But, um, I think I enjoy you more. What? Um, I really admire you, Gold. 
Sabay hawak sa kamay ni Gold. I hope you don't mind me liking you. Gold tolerated the gesture for more than a minute but immediately removed her hand nang marinig ang footsteps coming near them. <laughs> Seryoso ka ba? Oh, well, oo. Oh. Like the first day I laid my eyes on you, I got so hooked really. Grade 3 pa lang tayo, I know I was so certain already that I like you. <laughs> Naku, nakakatawa ka. Hey, nako. I am serious. Ano ka ba? Oh, sorry. I just can't imagine somebody would like me. Like, ikaw pa talaga? Ikrush ng campus ke. Like, girls would run after you and do every desperate moves para lang mapansin mo. Does it flatter you? Well, yeah. I appreciate that, but you know I can't respond to that, de ba? Like, we're way too young for this, and besides, Rina? Wait, what about Rina? Tanong naman ni Simon. Uh, forget it, Simon. It's nothing. Uh, well, oh, naman. I'm not expecting you to like me back, Gold. All I'm saying is that you're an admirable woman. I love how you are and a friend you are in me. Uh, thank you, Simon. Kinilig naman ang bahagya si Gold upon hearing it from Simon. Um, Gold? I hope you wouldn't mind me making efforts for you as day goes by, ha? OMG. But please don't make it too obvious, Karina, okay? Like, we promise to stay single kasi until we reach our dreams na, diba? And probably you already know about how she feels for you. Mm, okay then. That day, Simon and Gold looks each other na parabang mutually they like each other already. Constantly, Simon secretly shows Gold how much he cares for her. Like there are times when Simon would buy snacks for Gold at minsan, napapansin na rin ni Rina. To avoid commotion from Rina as a friendly gesture, Simon would also buy something for Rina. Though, hindi kasing special yun ang binibigay niya kay Gold. Oy, ganda ng ballpen mo ah! Saan mo binili yan? Oh yeah! Dalingin kay Simon. Simon also has one, pero ibang color lang. Ah, uh, uh, dyan lang sa labas ng school. Dyan ko lang nabili. Sagot ni Gold. Okay, eh bakit hindi mo pa ako binilan? Babayaran naman kita eh. Ah, uh, 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 ano kasi, um, nagmamadali ako kaya hindi ko na naisip na bilhan ka. I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Minsan, gumawa pa ng activity ang kanilang klase na isa nilang subject. And they have to group themselves para hindi masyadong gumasas individually ang bawat isa. Nagkataon namang magkagrupo si Narina at Simon. In their group activity, napansin naman ni Rina na may kahawig ang ballpen ni Simon. Para bang kamukha na ng ballpen ni Gold and ballpen ni Simon. There was a hint of selo sa heart ni Rina. She felt like there is a conspiracy going on between her two best friends and her. Kaya minabuti niya ng magtanong kay Simon. Uy, Simon, parang pareho kayo ng ballpen ni Gold. Sabay ba kayong bumili? Ah, uh, um, eh hindi. Trying to hide it from Rina. Uh, siguro nagkataon lang. Hmm, really? One of the group members knew that Simon bought the pen for Gold kaya pabiru niya hinirita ng kaklaseng si Simon. Ay nako, binili ni Simon yung kay Golda no, sabay kaming bumili niyan eh. Hindi ka ba niya binilan, Rina? Oh my God! Sabi naman ni Wendell. Uy, ikaw talaga, hindi naman totoo yan. Huwag mong paniwalaan yan, Rina. He was just joking. Ang kulit mo, bro, ha? Uy, takot mo friendship over, ha? Nako, sira ulo ka talaga, no? Gumawa na nga tayo ng activity natin, puro ka biro dyan. Hindi mo naman magagawa yung activity natin sa kakulitan mo eh. Rina was a little humiliated and certain hint of ingot sprouted in her heart. Rina liked Simon since day one and Gold somehow knew that about Rina. Kaya nga ba in her desperation na gumagawa-gawa na rin ang flirting moves si Rina towards Simon. And she always makes sure na nasasabihan niya si Gold about it. Bess, what if bigin ko si Simon ang shirt? What? 
Uh, why? Birthday niya ba? Hmm, hindi naman. But I really, really like him, Bess. Eh, di ba medyo financially challenged ang family ninyo? Baka extra expense lang yan if bibili ka pa ng gift for Simon. At saka hindi niya naman birthday eh. Hmm, wala lang kasi may extra naman ako eh. Gold felt like may naaamoy na Serena na mutual understanding between her and Simon. Mm, well, it's your choice naman, best Whatever you feel like tamang gawin. Basta wag ka lang gumawa ng ikakapahamak mo, okay? Oo naman. Tama din naman talaga ang naging decision ko, bes. Hay, baka kasi mamaya may nagugusta ng iba si Simon. I'll see to it na hindi niya papansinin yun if ever meron mong mag-flirt sa Simon ko, no? Uy, bes, it sounds so little desperate, ha? Sabi naman ni Gold kay Rina. Bakit? Hindi ko ba pwedeng magustuhan si Simon? Well, wala naman akong sinasabing ka nun, but what I'm trying to say is, don't be so desperate, Bess. Babae ka pa rin naman. You're worth to be pursued, and not you pursuing men. Oh yeah? Desperate ba talaga? Or baka gusto mo lang siya? At dito na nga nagtatapos ang unang kabanata. Ano kaya ang itutugon ng batang gold sa batang si Rina? At tama kaya ang hinala ni Gold na bumalik na nga si Simon ng Pilipinas at siya nga bang nakita nito? At kung ganun, sino naman kaya ang ipinunta doon ni Simon? Si Gold or si Rina? Abangan sa susunod na kabanata. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, mga kwento ni Ate Jane, istorya mo, ikwento ko. Huwag kalimutang pindutin ang notification bell at subscribe button.